Hi, what's going on? I'm Robbie Ginepri, and I can't wait to give you a tour of my hometown tournament here in Atlanta. We have a beautiful pool here. You can swim as many laps as you need. And uh, there's a diving board over there with a the deep end. Lifeguard always on duty for anyone that can't swim. Yeah, and here are all the folks coming in to watch the night match. Uh, some d singles and doubles going on, so they're filling in the stadium pretty quickly, as you can see. So, and here we have the tournament director, Bill Oaks. What do we have going on over here? A little mariachi band? It's, it's a Latin night at the Atlanta Tennis Championships, and we have some salsa lessons going on. And, Robbie, I was kind of expecting you to do some salsa tonight, you know. Look, you just put one in the books with a W. I think it's time for you to get out in there and have some fun. I didn't bring my, my linen clothes, you know. If I brought the right outfit, I would be out there. If you brought the right clothes. I mean, you, you, you're dressed appropriately for this type of situation. I could roll the ankle in the sandals, so yeah, uh, can't take I'm going st to stick to the tennis this week. Yeah, but Good job. Doing a great job putting Thank the event on, and we're happy to have it in Atlanta again. We, we can't be any happier as well. So thanks a lot, Robbie. Sure. We have uh, one of my roommates live with me for a few years, very tennis fanatic, uh, festive fan. tonight. Super fan. What do you Big think fan. of the Atlanta ten tennis tournament? It's Danny. going pretty good so far. A little warm. We need some air conditioning. Air conditioning outside if we can get it. Yeah, and uh, so you got the latest for, Under Armour gear. Support, support for Robert, you know. Big match today. Good win. Getting started. All right, we'll have fun. Thanks, buddy. This is the player lounge where all the players come before and after matches to relax. Um, there's lunch buffet over there set up and pool table, air hockey. There's some couches to, to lounge on and watch the TV. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty full right now. All right, we've now made our way down to the lounge. And uh, this is the racket string. This is where all the business goes on. The players need these guys for the whole week because without them, the tournament wouldn't be possible. Um, we'll step over here and ask, how many how many rackets do you think you guys have strung so far this week? Strung uh, about 220 or so. And for the whole week, what, what do you think the number will be? Four, 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 five four, five four or five hundred. Four or five hundred. Four or five hundred rackets for the whole week. So these guys are busy and they do a great job. And uh, in this room is uh, the training room where most of the players get treatment for their injuries before and after the match. Uh, there's massages as well. No, we're going to watch uh, Marty and Andy. Uh, we're getting ready to see, is it Blake? Blake, Blake. is going to play. How did you do today? I won. I won. Good. Where were we all? You didn't come out and cheer? I'm sorry. Well, in the you must have won quickly. Two sets, so happy to get through. Good. Play again tomorrow, so come out and check it out. All right. So here we have uh, the center court. This is where all the, the top seeds and and all the crowd can come to, to check out some of the best matches here. Singles, doubles. Yeah, it was. Uh, now, do I really know if that's yours? Yeah, that is yours. That's me. Okay. Thank you. Bye. And if the kids get a little bit tired of watching tennis, they can come here and go nuts on the the blow up entertainment here. Um, enjoyed this when I was about five or six. So, and here we have the beautiful golf course. Um, Bobby Jones designed it, and they're going to hold the PGA Championships here next year. It's a very difficult course. I think some of the players had an opportunity to come here and play the par three challenge closest to the pin. I'm not sure who won, but uh, if I was playing, I definitely would have won. We have here a sport court for the kids, uh, a little smaller than a real court. They get a chance to use smaller rackets and dead balls for them to play a little bit longer points and get used to the field. It's great to, uh, to see this going on here. And that wraps up our tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a great facility here and I appreciate you guys giving me some time.